Hello, everybody. So tonight, we're going to start talking about commas. We kind of started already talking about commas last week, right, when we talked about quotation marks. And we remember that before you use quotation marks, you have to use a comma, right? Remember that? And it kind of looks like an apostrophe, but it's down low. It's on the line uh, where you write your text, okay? So we're going to learn about some different times whenever it's important to use a comma. So we've got cute little Kathy comma over here. And you can color her later if you want, but not right now. Just listen right now, okay? So here are three different, if you have some kind of colored marker or something, this is a good time to use it. I want you to put, oh my goodness, what's happening? What is happening? I want you to put a little star right here, star right here, and star right here. Here are three times that we use them. Then we're going to talk about some other times too, but this is just... Um, what we're gonna talk about today. So one example of, of a time to use a comma is when you have a series. So I want you to think about the World Series, okay? The World Series has lots of what? Baseball games, okay? And so we may separate when we list those, those teams. So we're also gonna call this a list. So write list right here. So when we list the teams, we separate them with commas because that helps us to see Remember how we talked about last week, how the comma kind of gives you a little pause? And so we would say, okay, playing in the World Series this year are the Texas Rangers, the Atlanta Braves, the Houston Astros. So you hear the little pause in between the New York Yankees, the White Sox, the Red Sox, the, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other baseball teams, but in between all of those, we would have commas to separate them so I can see, okay, Texas Rangers, comma, Houston Astros, comma. Atlanta Braves, comma, okay? So here's their example. I like apples, oranges, and bananas, okay? And I want you to circle that little comma right there and right there, okay? And I want you to notice, so let's go ahead and underline. If you have a different color, this is the time to use it. So let's underline the things that we're listing. Apples, oranges, bananas, right? So the commas are there to separate those three things that we're listing. So apples and oranges are separated by a comma. Oranges and bananas are separated by a comma. The last thing that you list should have and with it. So I like spaghetti, comma, Caesar salad, comma, and breadsticks, okay? I don't need to have a comma after breadsticks. And I don't need it after and because it's only separating the three things. If you see, if I have three things, I'll have two commas in between here. If I had five things, I would have one, two, three, four commas to separate them, okay? So think about it as your fingers and the separation is where the comma goes, okay? So that's one ob that's one time. Another time is when we have a date. So Kathy was born on September 22nd, comma, whoops, wrong color, comma, 2007. So this, the comma goes between the day and the year, okay? So we're gonna write that over here. Day, comma, oops, year, okay? Day, comma, year. And I want you to notice when we do a comma, we don't say like this, comma, right? That's not what we do. It's just a little guy right down here. It kind of goes below the letter a little bit, okay? So we have it in a date. We also use it to separate cities and states. So we will have a city, comma, state. Oops. City, comma, state. So if you notice here, I have the city, which is Dallas. Kathy was in Dallas. Texas is the state. So in between them, we need a comma. So our three examples we talked about are when we have a list of things and we use the commas to separate each of the items in the list. We use it to separate a day and the year and the date, and we use it to separate a city and a state whenever we list them together, okay? Awesome. Head over and do that quick little seesaw. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and read the directions carefully on the seesaw, okay? I'll see you tomorrow.